sure this is a good idea? Danny, I need you. You're not going to like this. I don't care. You've been brilliant. I thought I was going mad without you. I've never met anyone who's killed someone before. This is my brother we're talking about. We should run for it. Stay where you are. Well, I want to go home. Shh. It's right, it's me. I told you. Who's with you? Is it Andy? No. Come on. I've told him everything, the whole story. You've crossed me up! No, Danny's not going to tell anybody. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm not with them. Katie, don't be a prat. We couldn't trust her. I had to talk to somebody. None of you would listen. That's rich, that is. I was looking out for you. I was worried about you. Why do you think I set this thing up? You told me to shut up. If she can tell him, then why can't I tell my dad? You see, that's how it starts. You can't tell your dad because your dad would tell the police. You shouldn't have said anything, Ollie. We can trust Danny. No, we can't. Why not? He's my friend. He wasn't there, that's why not. Look, I'm no grass. You can ask anybody. I just want everything to be like it was before. Now she's going to tell. Shut up, Robert. Look, it's never going to be like it was before, so deal with it. What do you mean? Do you think your daddy could ever forgive you? Eve! Well, it's true. Well, it wasn't my fault. Look, I said you could trust me and I meant it. But this is stupid. You're just tearing yourselves apart. So what are you saying? It was an accident. That's all. If you did tell, it's not a murder charge, is it? Never thought I'd actually win. Um, ten quid each way on lucky last. Second favourite, Morning Lark, written by Patrick McGraw, has yet to show. Yeah, so much for trusting Ollie. Her mate wants us to give ourselves up. That's not what... You shouldn't have brought him here. You could at least listen to what he's got to say. What? That we should all go to the police? Are we going to give Mark and Andy up just to make you happy? You keep talking like it's going to be the end of the world. He's a copper's kid. What do you think they're going to do to him in prison? Yeah, but that's in his favour too, isn't it? A white kid, son of a police officer. Clean driving licence, in work, no record. I need to even nick the car himself. Come on, the lawyers are going to give it the old she's dead, it was a tragic accident and no one's more sorry than Mark himself bit. Who the hell do you think you are? This isn't a game. He's got a point. No, he hasn't. He's not the one facing prison. And what's going to happen to the rest of us? We'll get done for keeping quiet about it. They probably won't even prosecute, Donna. Yeah, but who's taking the risk? Why are we even talking about this? Look, we decided what we were going to do when we torched the car and there is no going back. She's right, Danny. I'm sorry. It's your life. Right, well, I've had enough. I'm going home. I'll walk with you. Uh, wait. Is that it? Are you going to let her get away with this? She lied to you. No, I didn't! Just, just leave it alone. See what you've done now. Mark! Just leave her, Molly. Nice motor. Is it yours, sir? How can I help you, officer? OK, thanks. All right, Mr Dingle. Your papers are in order. You're free to go. Thanks, officer. Thank you very much. One more thing, Mr Dingle. Your bag. Make sure you don't leave it unattended. Cheers. It shouldn't be happening, Eve. It's going to get better. We're all just thrown by the funeral. You can't blame Ollie. All right. She's just feeling bad. We're all feeling bad. Are we? But you think I'm enjoying this? Well, I was beginning to wonder. I can just see more than two steps ahead of me, that's all. And I'm on your side. If you talk now, you're letting us all down. It's as simple as that. Okay. Don't worry so much. It's going to be all right. Do 
furlongs to go now, and a very different picture from earlier on. Brave Stars will look invincible has fallen back to third place with Rapid Rain now taking the honors. Beginner's Lock, eh? Rapid Lock, Rain, written by Dave Mantle, <laughs> Enjoy yourself. No, I didn't. That old bag didn't take her eyes off me. She probably fancied you. And Brave Star having to really hang on to retain that third place. Brindle Boy, ridden by Tim Huxley, was always going to be good for a flutter and is still keeping the punter's hopes alive. He's back. I've just been handed a load of forged twins. I know. Some kid. Black Sandy. Got away with it. But I know who's behind it. Oh, 